Hello there, my name is Myra. I'm coming to you from Sweden, but I'm originally from Germany and you probably have seen me somewhere before. I started a knitting channel uh, on YouTube um, last August and um, yeah, I used the channel before for some other videos and then I had some difficulties with it with, uh, because it was in German and yeah, moving all everything to Swedish and that everything is correct. So yeah, I had some difficulties. Let's just take it this short. And I decided to just start a new channel as long as it's very small. Uh, so welcome to my new YouTube channel. I hope uh, you can find your way here. I'm very happy if you uh, have watched my videos before and now came to my new channel. Uh, and if you're new here, welcome. Um, I like to talk about knitting. I'm a fashion designer and custom tailor um, and have worked with it a few years in Sweden and make some sewing patterns and uh, fabric designs and so on. And right now I'm studying full-time Swedish, uh, so I have a little bit, a little break from working uh, and yeah, just study and try to really learn the language and that I can really live here long term. Because yeah, you're probably wondering why uh, I have met a Swedish guy some years ago and um, after living together in Germany for some years we decided to move to Sweden. Uh, and now we're here and we really like it so uh, we are planning to stay here. Um, but yeah, I normally talk a lot about knitting uh, and sometimes a little bit of sewing and if I try some other crafts, also some other crafts. Um, so I will show you a little bit both some knitting, some sewing stuff I made in March and trying to uh, film uh, a video after every month so to show you what I have worked on in the months and not always feel the pressure oh I need to have a lot of finished objects before I can make a knitting podcast. I just want to show you this is my progress this month and sometimes a little more and sometimes it is a little bit less. Um, yes, I also try right now to knit a little bit more yarn from my stash. Uh, I bought a lot of yarn in January uh, but normally I have a quite small stash. I have some sock yarns and I have some, yeah, a little bit yarn. No sweater quantities or anything. I would like to buy bigger quantities for each project I'm planning and planning to cast them soon. So this is a little bit about that background. Um, yes, should we just start? I think we will start with some finished objects, um, then some work in progresses and I really don't... I have two acquisitions and uh, nothing big but I, I think I will show it to you uh, and yeah, I really hope you enjoy. Uh, check out my Instagram if you're not following me there. Um, there I'm showing just a bit more about my everyday life and some finished knitting and sewing projects. Uh, even though I have been quite quiet there, I just needed uh, a little break from social media in in March actually. Yeah, I took it very very slow. Uh, this was a month where I was unemployed and I didn't want to compare myself to anybody else and just took it very very slow and I really needed this break after a very stressy and uh, autumn with a lot of work and so on, a lot of stress. <laughs> um, yes and if you have any questions because now yeah everything's a little bit new again please just let me know in the comments and I will try to answer it there or take it with me into the next video. I also would like to make some other knitting inspired or sewing instruction kind of videos. So if you have any uh, question or want me to show you some sewing hacks or something, you can also put it down below. And um, yeah, I'm just looking outside. We have the beginning of April and it's just snowing again. We have a snowstorm again. <laughs> and I'm just longing for spring so much. I watch all the knitting videos about spring ideas, everything I want in it for spring and I'm just not feeling the vibe yet. It's just grey, it is snowing again <laughs> and I just want to start gardening, I want to start 
sitting outside and we're not there yet. So it's a, such a, or I, I like to say it, March this year was colder and we had more snow in March than we had in January. That's really weird. And I really hope that spring is coming to Sweden really, really soon. Okay, but uh, let's just hop into the media now. I have a very long intro and um, yes. <laughs> so you probably already see one of my finished objects in the background. Uh, I would just take it. I just finished it, so it's still on the blocking mass. But this one is the seaside sweater from the seaside set from Petit Knit. I think it's the four to six size, six, four to six months size, and it's made with Sunday uh, from Sandness Garn, and I use the colors Kit and Baby Blue Ice. Uh, I got some questions about the color combination, and I think it's really really cute. I really love the color combination. I really had some longing for spring, uh, for blues this spring, or still longing for spring. Um, and it makes me really want to knit in these blue colors, the blue sky. Um, we had quite a lot of beautiful sunny days, even though they were cold. <laughs> so yeah, I really love these colors at the moment. Uh, and this is a little little sweater. Super cute, just need to dry and then it will get some buttons because he has a little button band. And I knitted the pattern before, uh, so yeah. The only thing I did is to lengthen the cuffs a little bit, I think in the original pattern. Uh, it's about 8 rows in rib and yeah, I really like if it's a little bit thicker. Um, so it's a little bit more like a sweater and not like a blouse or something. Uh, so this is number one. Uh, and we just put it in the background again. Uh, and then I got this yarn in Germany in the beginning of January when I visited my family. Uh, this Bouclé yarn from Lana Grossa. Uh, and my plan was to knit uh, a few pillows, pillowcases with it. And first I thought, oh, yeah, this is a very boring, boring thing to do. Um, but then I just started and I finished the first one. And this is how it turned out. Really soft and nice uh, fabric. And I just knitted in garter stitch because I really want, didn't want to pull. Uh, so yeah, just some garter stitch. And then I have some uh, cream fabric on the background. And let me see. And a zipper. Um, so that you can wash it as well. Uh, I just knitted a rectangular and then I blocked it and made the uh, yeah back side and then I just sewed them together with a sewing machine that worked really really nice and looks really nice and yeah it's really soft. Uh, I have three of these pillows but uh, I used one whole ball of yarn for one and I just have two uh, ball balls of yarn. But the fabric for the back also just was enough for two pillowcases. So I decided there won't be three, there will be only two. And then the third one just in another place in the house and another pillowcase. Uh, because we had some dark blue ones um, and I don't, I want some more light colors in the house. We have quite a dark couch and yeah, so I really want to lighten it up a little bit with lighter pillows. Uh, I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of a variegation in the fabric. Um, just so that you know, the structure of the yarn is a little bit different. And in the pillow it doesn't bother me, but I think in a garment it would b bother me a little bit actually. Um, yeah. But the second one needs to come soon. Um, but yeah. I started and I already prepared the background, so we are on a good way. <laughs> I knitted a, um, a Stockholm hat by Petit Knit with a little uh, modification. Um, I knitted the pattern uh, last autumn and I really, really like it. I have it in a beige color. And I also added the lining with some fleece and I think I will do it here as well because yeah, it just keeps the ears so much warmer. And yeah, normally it's an all over ripped beanie, but I decided I want a little bit different 
um, room and I added some cables. Um, the cables would already make it like it's a little bit closer to my ears uh, and that's really nice because I'm feeling it, the wind is very strong here and uh, yeah it really needs to be very close to my ears. Um, so yeah I just tried something else. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I would do it again. Normally you have cables on the beanie and then you have rips on the on the bottom here on or on classic um, cable beanies. Um, yeah, so it looks like this. So it's a little bit um, tighter here. Um, but yeah, a wall. I think a cute beanie. I haven't really worn it yet, um, but I think we still have some days left, and I probably will add the fleece uh, lining because yeah, it will just make it a little bit warmer. The yarns are double sunday in a blue color. I don't remember the exactly colorway actually. And then uh, tin silk mohair by Sun is gone as well uh, and hold double. And the tin silk mohair, I don't know if you can see it, is like a little bit lighter so yeah, it's got a little bit of variation. Uh, but yeah, would you like the outcome? Um, overall, <laughs> yeah. It's nice to experience a little bit uh, sometimes and just try and add some stitches to patterns in you have knitted before. And it's a little bit more fun, the process is a little bit more fun at least. <laughs> um, okay, these were all my knitted finished objects. Uh, and then I also sewed a little bit. Uh, I haven't really shown that much um, garments or projects I have sewn in the last podcast episode on my older channel. Um, but I have been sewing a little bit. I have been away from work quite a while now, or at least a few months. <laughs> uh, because yeah, working with all sewing related things it was really fun, uh, but I just didn't have the energy or the motivation to sew a lot at home anymore. So now we have some finished objects again. First of all is a bag. Uh, this is quite a big bag. I actually started I think last summer or autumn and then it was just in the cupboard. Uh, but now I finished it. It's this really beautiful quilted fabric from Selfmade. So I haven't quilted it myself. It's really nice because quilting takes quite a lot of time. Uh, and yeah, and the back is last, just with a little um, labor from uh, Elve Le Design where I've been working before and I created some labels that work there. <laughs> uh, and then I just have this very plain lining, some zipper pocket and on the other side some oh, some other pockets and yeah it's really nice to oh my my idea was to have like a picnic that you can just throw in your blanket and some knits or a book and then you can go to to a park and just relax there on the grass uh, so yeah I really really like how it came out and uh, I just um, did the pattern myself there was no pattern I just tried to play with a little bit with rectangles and adding pockets and so on and just went with the flow. I just in the process I said okay I will do the the uh, top binding like this and then I will add the straps like this and and so on. I needed to order some fabric uh, while I have been working on it because it turned a little bit different than I imagined first. But, uh, or it's a little bit bigger, I think that was a problem. Um, but yeah, really nice bag, uh, perfect for big knits to take with. Uh, and then I have another one actually, and this time it's a garment. It will be a little bit difficult to show you here, oh, and I don't really have the most beautiful hanger. But I will also insert a picture over here how it looks like on me and I also have shown a few pictures already on Instagram but and this is the a wrap blouse uh, it is a free pattern um, by Peppermint Magazine and I have knitted the uh, pattern before 
uh, and now I made it in a steel sucker fabric from uh, self-made as well that I had in my um, wardrobe that is behind the camera uh, for yeah I bought it last summer to wear a dress but it's a little bit uh, see-through so dress is probably not the best option but the blouse really works nice so I uh, yeah made the pattern I added a little bit of elastic in the uh, front um, I don't know if it really would have been necessary but I just wanted that it feels secure because yeah I don't know and then I also the pattern includes I think is it a long sleeve I think so or like uh, three quarter lengths and I added a little bit of puff sleeve I added some puff on the top and then also down here and just added a white binding so yeah, and then some labels <laughs> uh, yeah so this is another project really beautiful blouse I uh, would like to wear it and uh, it would be perfect for summer and spring um, yeah, because it is quite airy and really nice. Uh, and yeah, really like the pattern. So if you want to try a free pattern, just try it. There is really nice instruction and also really nice way to sew all the seams with French seams. That makes it very neat and really beautiful. Um, yeah, so these were all my finished objects. And now I have some work in progress as well. Um, I think we start with the knitted things again and then I have also some sewing stuff to show you. Okay, so my biggest project I've been working on, and if you have seen my last knitting podcast, I have shown you a little bit and said it feels like it's quite big, but I think it will be okay. Yeah, it uh, doesn't really work out. Um, the thing was, it felt quite big. I made a um, swatch before, so I thought, quite, oh, yes, I, I do this. Uh, um, but it just didn't work. And then I, I really had the feeling it's just too big. And then I knit through the sleeves and the body, and I was, okay, I will wash it and I will block it. And if I really don't like it, then I can rip it up. But I will at least give it a try. And I did. And um, I think I need to include a little clip of me uh, wearing the block jacket. Was it had not, didn't have a button tab yet, but um, yeah, you can see it's just it is not fitting at all. So I ripped back everything, and yeah, I really did, had a different guard than the pattern suggested, but my uh, knit and pull stitches fit perfectly for the cardigan number eight but my favorite thing is knitwear so i decided to rip back the whole cardigan i have knitted and start all over again uh, and this is where i'm at right now so i have a little bit on the back it's it's a little bit weird to show you now yeah i have a little bit on the back i just started the second sleeve use pick up stitches uh, and this has like a drop shoulder and I have knitted the first sleeve here and then I will also add of course a lot of lengths uh, and then the button tab so it will take a little bit more time but I have been working a lot uh, on this or the cardigan before <laughs> um, but right now I'm just feeling not the, the motivation it feels like uh, when I have been working I I needed to um, drive quite long with the train and I knit a lot in the mornings and it was really nice to knit plain stock in it or rib and really enjoyed just not need to sink a lot uh, because I was really tired in the mornings <laughs> uh, but now when I'm knitting a lot of my time home uh, I I feel like I need to have a little bit more to sink while knitting it's quite boring just knitting a tube and stock in a stitch or Pulling is not my favorite as well. So yeah, carding is a little bit of a... I would really love the finish object, but I think the way there is can be really hard. And I really like playing cardigans. Uh, so I need to fight a little bit through this sweater or this cardigan. Uh, but I think it will be 
turning out nice and the fit is always so much better but that's my fault totally on my <laughs> uh, so yeah and then I had actually something Uh, so I have shown it a little bit before and also on Instagram. Uh, I made this cat sock and yeah, if you have seen one of my last videos I just knitted I think the toe and then I was thinking I had too much stitches but actually I didn't had and then when I picked it up uh, two or three weeks later again I was like oh this is really fun and I just knitted the uh, first sock and then I just started the second one after it so yeah the first one was like this quite a long time but now see we have almost two socks uh, and I think I really like color work or to knit color work even though this were my first ever color work socks actually um, and it's just like so much fun because then you need oh I wanted to knit one whole cat and then you have almost one row and then you want to knit another one. Uh, the only thing was uh, I felt like I needed to, I couldn't stop off this row of socks, I felt like it was too short but the whole row of cat was a little bit too much but I think it's still looking cute how the cat's looking uh, yeah looking there from the toe. So we have like a half row, a half way of cats there uh, and this one fits quite nice for me. I have blocked it also. I washed and blocked it. Uh, the only thing what I think with color socks uh, is because it's not really stretchy, uh, it's just not, it's a little bit harder to come into the sock and then it does not lay flat on the leg because it is a little bit wider to get it over your feet. Um, so looks cute. I don't know if it's the most practical thing. Uh, I think I like my ripped socks otherwise a little bit more. Uh, and this one will be a gift for my uh, sister. She really likes our cat because we have little red cat. And um, I just see it's like it just feels like the orange has bladed a little bit in the washing. Or just a little bit. I think it's okay. Uh, so yeah, she will get the socks when they're finished and she has seen a little bit pictures of it but I think she's also looking forward to them uh, and then she will just wear the next winter because yeah, in Germany it's a little bit warmer already um, but yeah, also rainy cold days can are possible so yeah, you never know um, and then this actually acquisition I bought this yarn. No. Let me just uh, pick up the label. So I have been to a wool store that is quite near where I'm studying right now and have never been in the wool store before and I found yeah this yarn. This sock yarn in these beautiful blue shapes. Uh, I hoped it would be a little bit stripy. It's actually not but uh, that's okay. It's um it's a gift for a man, so actually for my boy, for my sister's boyfriend. Uh, he's has uh, his birthday in June, I think, and I thought I will start some socks and I have some time to knit them. So it's called Baez and it's made in Italy. I have never seen this uh, sock yet before. Uh, it's uh, yeah, Italian yarn. It is seventy five. Uh, 25 mixture, it's 75 superwash wool and 25 polyamide. 100 gram are 420 meters. And this is the color 323. Um, yeah. And here it's also called Borgo de Passi. I think this is the company's name. Borgo de Passi. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is the label. And um, I start knitting today, so it's actually not a March knit, but I think I saw that I would still show it to you. Uh, so this is how it's looking. Uh, I made a one by one rib, I don't know if how much you can see. And then I started to knit like I think a four by two knit. And 
I have knitted quite a lot of socks, so I'm not using a particular pattern for this one. Yes, I didn't talk about the cat socks. I say Harding cat sock pattern by Stone. It's, I'm sorry, I totally forgot to mention that. Yeah, but now you know. <laughs> but for this one, I don't need use pattern. Uh, I normally knit with 64 stitches for myself, and now I knit with. I think 72 so I have 80 stitches on every needle and I'm knitting with three millimeter needles um, yeah just for you to know uh, I have actually never knitted uh, socks for men so yeah I I don't know if it probably a little bit too many stitches I looked it up on the internet and it says about 68 to 72 stitches but I thought I would try 72 and then with the rib it's stretching a lot but it's better a little bit too big probably than too too small or isn't it <laughs> i'm always unsure when knitting for or sewing for other people uh but i really hope that it will be nice and uh the uh, that the bigger rib pattern is turning out nice because i really want to try it for myself as well I think it's looking really cheek and really really nice. Uh, and yeah, as you can see, it's not really stripy. It's like a variegation of the of the blue and um, blue colors. Yes, but still nice, you know. Um, yeah, these were actually all my knit uh, knitted garments I have been working on. And now I thought I would just show you one more sewing project I've started and then I just stopped and never really finished it. I don't know why, uh, but anyway, I would need to do that. I started to sew or I have the top for a dress uh, of the Ivy dress by Pauline Alice Patterns, I think she's called. I will write all names uh, also in the description box and all yeah, patterns and yarns and so on of use that I can find. Uh, and this is um, a fabric from Stoffe de uh, or in Swedish it's Tyg.se. Um, it's the same company, it's a German company, but they also have a Swedish flat. Uh, and yeah, it's this really, I don't know if you can see this. It's uh, yeah, like a carrot, like a beachy pattern, uh, really beautiful. Uh, and yeah, in the back it has these crossing straps. Uh, and then I will just add like a big um, skirt shape and probably also with pockets. Um, yeah, but I have I have knitted another version before, and this. I would like the dress, but it's just having so much fabric in it, so I decided to or try to make this one with a little bit less fabric. And I also bought this uh, fabric uh, last year for a dress in mind, uh, but I didn't know really which one. Uh, and yeah, I just really like this, this um, kind of dress and really like the version of the pattern, because the pattern has a lot of different versions, it's really, really nice. Just the skirt is really big, so we'll do it a little bit smaller, <laughs> or with a little bit less fabric, I should say, because it should still be a little long and so on. Yeah, and then I just uh, tr um, prepared the second pillowcase, and I don't really know how to show you, but I uh, really wanted to start sewing some underwear for myself. Uh, I have tried a little bit here and there, and I have always uh, thought about really making some beautiful yeah bras and panties and so on uh, so I haven't actually started yet uh, I made one test that wasn't really great because I tried some patterns and I really oh I didn't really like the patterns so I tried to make it myself <laughs> so yeah but I have ordered some material I think I will just um, show you a little clip of the materials I bought because I think it's looking really nice with all the elastics and all these small things. So I hope I can show it to you uh, next time that I have tried and sew on some 
pieces. Uh, let's see. Um, but this has always been a dream of mine. Oh. Because I would, I would like to sew t-shirts and dresses and little bit of garments. Uh, but yeah, some garments I still buy and I don't know why I do. So I just want to make all pieces in my wardrobe myself or something like that. <laughs> Uh, I have been much more into this um, when I were on my fashion school. I really tried to just make my own clothes. Here and there now I'm buying some clothes when I am in need of something, but I really, it's not very often that I buy, buy stuff. Because I really enjoy making it myself and then I still have a full wardrobe. I don't need to hop on every trend and need to yeah, buy everything for every season. <laughs> but that's my opinion and um, yeah, let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Is there anything that you really would like to uh, make yourself in your wardrobe but you're a little bit uh, scared or afraid of or what are you dreaming of making yourself if it's sewing or knitting or if you want to start knitting or sewing. I think it would be really really interesting to hear that and um, yeah I really hope you like this video. Please have a look at my Instagram account and also follow this channel if you like this video and want to see some more knitting and sewing related videos. I can't wait to start producing a few more videos and um, yes with spring now hopefully soon <laughs> I will also get uh, back a lot more energy I think I don't know I have been very tired from winter and yeah all the darkness here in Sweden even though it's really getting lighter and lighter every day it's really nice to see um, but yeah I think I'm ready for spring and uh, I will also probably soon tell you about uh, some of my spring knits and plants uh, or what I'm dreaming of because I don't have that much time besides studying uh, to knit as much as I want <laughs> or my wrists don't allow it as well because I had some problems in the past with my wrists actually from sewing but yeah knitting didn't make it better so yeah but I have a lot of ideas and I like to plan and to think about and sometimes I just just spending hours to think about what I could knit instead of knitting uh, but yeah I really like the planning process so thank you so much if you're hanging around the whole time and uh, yeah it was really nice chatting with you when I really would like to uh, I just need to say this as well because I really like the knitting community here it's really nice and friendly and lovely people and I really would like to get in touch with more knitters and yeah just show each other what we're knitting so if you're interested in this please message me on Instagram and I would be really nice to hear about what you're knitting and um, yeah, just exchange a little bit. Uh, yeah, so I really hope to see you soon again and have a lovely day. Bye!